this little fuzzball here is the caterpillar for the southern tussock moth. And you'll notice I definitely have it a good distance away from me on this piece of wood here. Um, a good rule of thumb for any fuzzy caterpillar is to leave it alone and anticipate that it would harm you. This particular caterpillar, while it does not have venom on the spines or on the fur, it can create a rash or uh, make you very itchy if it comes in contact with your skin. So definitely best to keep it away from you. But while I have one here at a safe distance, I wanted to um, showcase one really neat camouflage or um, adaptation here. You'll notice that there are these black tufts that are coming out of each end of the caterpillar, um, like antennae. Um, and they're pretty similar on both ends. One end's a little bit longer than the other, but they're pretty similar. And you'll notice in the video here, we've seen the caterpillar moving in both directions. And so what this is useful for, for the caterpillar is to confuse its predators. Um, because when a predator is approaching it, now it can't figure out which end is the head. And most predators try to target the head of their prey for a quick and easy meal. Um, and so by confusing their predators on which end is their head, uh, gives them a little bit better chance at survival here. Um, but these particular caterpillars, we see them a lot in the spring, uh, especially feeding on oak leaves. They really enjoy oak leaves and they'll come and gorge themselves uh, on oak leaves. And then they will make their cocoon and, and go into the next stage of metamorphosis and try to Go, um, go into the pupa stage. Um, these particular caterpillars, the females, when they emerge from their cocoon will not have any wings, so they have to stay in place and they will secrete pheromones to make the males come to them. These caterpillars are notorious for making their cocoons on the undersides of picnic tables and other lawn furniture, even stored boats, things that are um, outside in woody areas. And similar to um, touching the caterpillars themselves, their cocoons can also cause um, skin irritation and rashes because they use a lot of the um, spines or the fur from their bodies to help make the cocoons. So if you see the cocoons as well, please take care to remove